second week of my wedding. Like, that is so crazy. Y'all want to know something so crazy? Is she from the West Side? What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Janiyah Leah, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I look so sleepy. It's literally 10 o'clock in the morning. I have actually been up since like 4 o'clock. Yeah, 4 a.m. today, as y'all know, getting some work done and stuff. Honestly, not to get off topic, but I personally feel like just waking up at 4 a.m. a couple of days out the week, like it don't really have to be every day, really kind of helps kind of get the week going because I get so much work done when I wake up early. It's crazy. But anyways, y'all, today, to oh, oh, today is currently June 26th. And obviously, by the time y'all will be seeing this, I will be, uh, you know, <laughs> a married woman. I will be a, a wife. But right now, we in the past. Later, y'all can fast forward to the future, but we in the past right now. So today is June 26th, and if you know, you know, my wedding is in five days. My wedding. Oh, I thought I saw somebody. My wedding is in five days. That's crazy. So it's Monday. My wedding is on Saturday. And honestly, throughout this whole process, it kind of made me think, do people usually do Saturday Saturday weddings? Like, now that i thought about it, like, I feel like weddings are low-key on Sundays. I don't know. I was just thinking about that like, when we was planning this. And I was like, it's on Saturday. But we have a Saturday wedding. It's literally the week of my wedding. Like, that is so crazy. Y'all want to know something so crazy? Like, me... <sighs> And honestly, people who know me, who may be watching this, probably won't believe me when I say this. Or probably just won't even believe it in general when I say this. They're going to think, girl, you up here laughing in there. But I'm like high key and introverted extrovert. Like when I'm around my family, when I'm around my friends, like I'm extroverted. Like I'm extroverted, I'm outgoing, I'm loud, I'm talking, I'm having a good time. But like when I'm around people who I'm not necessarily like that comfortable with or like that cool with, I just kind of, you know, I just do my own thing. So, this entire time, as we have been approaching, you know, the big day, I've had, like, people at school, like, instructors or, like, just random people that ask me, like, oh, my gosh, are you so excited? How are you feeling? I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. They're like, oh, you don't look excited. And I'm like, I just, I don't know. Like, I just don't be feeling comfortable. <laughs> but, baby, hey, I'm excited. I'm so excited y'all like I'm actually very excited because the day is like here and I don't even think y'all understand how much work has been put into this y'all like, I put in so much work the family has been coming through oh I'm already sweating like, I'm literally sweating y'all hold on let me put up some deodorant my family has been coming through Jalen's family has been coming through and it's really so funny but no lie you know, I've been doing my little thing, planning or whatever. But when I tell y'all, we literally just got, like, the caterer, like, five days ago. Technically. Ugh. Hold on, let me deodorize, because it's hot outside, and we ain't going out like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got to put the shades on, because, um, I just can't do the tire look today, y'all. Spraying, um, the spray deodorant in a car is, like, worse than smoking a cigarette in a car. And I've never smoked a cigarette in the car but I mean, I just feel like if I was going to do that, that's what it would be like. But anyways, I'm excited. Like I was telling y'all. Um, but due to the fact that the wedding is literally in less than a week at this point, I have so much to do. As y'all can see, my nails are not done. So I'm going to try to go get my nails done today, which is kind of like, ugh, because I know I'm going to have to pay so much because I haven't even had time to do my gel egg set myself but it's okay i'm gonna literally just go up here and pay these folks to do my nails to get it done you know and go ahead and get that done i think do i want to do almond or coffin i think i'm gonna stick to my hmm. we'll see when we get there but getting my nails done then i have to still pick up a couple like small things so you already know your girl is going to target but y'all i am like oh i'm just happy because like that means that the end is near because the planning process has been out of this world. And obviously, like I've said in previous videos, like regarding the wedding planning, when you have a planner, 
girl it's just so much easier at this point i feel like all you gotta do is show up but this right here i'm like girl just wait till we get back to the apartment because i have like boxes and boxes of stuff to show y'all and i don't really oh i'm actually waiting on a lot of stuff to come in the mail like this week too but i'm not really tripping about showing it to y'all because like i said y'all probably won't even be seeing this video well y'all won't be seeing this video until after the wedding anyways because i think i'm just going to vlog for the week because i'm gonna have stuff to do all week like child i was supposed to start therapy like this week and legit this morning called and canceled the whole appointment because i was like listen I'll just I'll get back to you when I get back because this week is just gonna be too hectic my wedding dress is basically done but we're just waiting we we decided to add like a minor detail like last week so hopefully I'm able to pick that up by like Monday or Tuesday like one of these days then I'm having my bridal shower Tuesday like girl it's just a lot of stuff going on but I have a whole little list of things I need to get done today um or not even get done but really that I need to pick up so right now i'm getting ready to head to target or which one is closer yeah i'm gonna head to target because the nail salon is where okay cool 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 i'm kind of, i just kind of had like some internal dialogue going on there but y'all i don't even know how to feel right now i really just can't wait until i get my hair done because i know i'm going to straighten my hair um probably like wednesday i think i'm gonna straighten my hair wednesday because the style i'm having like i was gonna have to get my hair straightened anyway but the trouble I'm having is what to do in between that time. I don't get my hair done until Saturday morning. So I'm trying to think. And mind you, I just cut my hair. So I'm kind of trying to think of like what cute style I can do like between now and then. And I think what it's going to be is I'm probably going to, once I silk press my hair, I'm probably just going to put on a cute little V part, U part wig, whatever, and just style that and have that cute and styled until then. Because y'all like... I got the ponytail right now, but two things. One, I didn't really want to be like wearing a ponytail or wearing too many ponytails up until that time. Because I'm not going to have my wedding style in long. I'm probably going to have it in for like a day or two because then I'm getting braids right after that. But I don't want like no ponytail like baldness. And I also didn't want no ponytail headache. But I just, I didn't have no time yesterday. And this took like 10 minutes. But you know, I got to whip the braid around because I just feel like when I look like this, like, am I bald? I don't even know. I don't know. But okay let's go to target okay i'm so hungry right now why didn't i eat before i left the house i'm literally still in the parking lot I can yeah. well my dear baby you know you keep in church you know i let you know what i'm gonna leave about you okay and while we give a truck checked out today or tomorrow you checked out so i have no problem update y'all it seems like i am turning to my grandmother when it comes to talking on the phone because one thing on my grandma on my daddy's side she is gonna get you off the phone she is gonna get you right off the phone why did my grandma on my mama's side my grammy why did she call me and we on the phone she was like telling me something i was like yeah okay okay <laughs> and that's just how i'll be talking on the phone like when somebody like call me like you call me you know because you need to tell me something I'm like i just want to make sure you know that i heard you i'm like okay my grandma like, girl, you go stop rushing me off this phone, yada yada yada. I'm like, oh no, I'm not rushing you off the phone. I was, I was just saying, okay. I was trying to make sure you knew that I heard you. She was like, yeah, you just, you know. I'm like, okay, my bad. Good to know. Good to know. I'm gonna just be quiet next time. <laughs> oh, that was funny. But yeah, as y'all see, I was just on the phone with my granddad because I was trying to make sure he was still gonna make it down to the wedding because we don't have a lot of people who are traveling to the wedding but we have a few and so those few i want to make sure you know they're still coming because i have had um a couple of my cousins who were actually coming from new york they let me know like a day or two ago that they weren't coming which i don't tell person if you're not coming you're not coming like it's okay but low key low key y'all i'm not even gonna hold y'all i was a little bit upset because i will show y'all later but basically, I made like newspaper style wedding programs, right? And in my newspaper style wedding programs, wedding program, there's a part on the program where it says farthest distance traveled. And obviously, I did. I actually made a couple more typos in the program, y'all. It was crazy. It was crazy. But at this point, I didn't order these things how many times? Way too many. 
but um there was a part in the program that says longest distance travel and originally i had it as one of my bridesmaids because she's driving from north carolina so i was like all right cool but then once i had to reorder it because of the first set of typos that i made i was like you know what i just forgot that my cousins are coming from new york so let me change it to them and so i literally made it to them coming all the way from new york when i thought they were coming and then literally the a day or two after i had already or, or, or a day or two after i had already ordered the programs they shipped and everything she's like yeah i was just gonna let you know like we not gonna make it and i was just like dang like i really wasn't tripping but i was just like oh my gosh like now my program's about to be like real typo and i personally feel like i want to give people their props like if you actually did travel the farthest distance i want to make you feel special by having you listed in the program like but y'all i paid about two something two something for them dang programs and i already have reordered them once like i have a whole stack of some sitting in the house right now that are like i can't use them because i messed them up i made i made a little too many typos so i had to reorder those and basically i'm just gonna have to throw those away but i was like oh my gosh like that really kind of annoyed me because oh but yeah so i was calling him to make sure he was still coming because he's driving from alabama and yeah but let's go ahead and get this show on the road i'm at target right now i'm gonna go in and get a few things i'm definitely gonna get a basket because i need to get more than a few things then after i leave here i'm gonna try to go get my nails done and then the last stop i think let me see what the last stop is gonna be yeah the last stop is probably gonna be like the beauty supply store so with that being said um let me go in here and let's get this maybe like nurturing like personal relationships and, um you know trying to build things like a, a family or a relationship or a, i don't i don't like i don't do any of that i just kind of work okay the what? sun is like behind me so i don't even know if y'all can see me but girl, we headed out of Target with this big old bag like we at the thrift store. I ain't gonna lie, this junk really about to pull like my whole shoulder off, but we made it y'all, we made it. Y'all, I hate when people be speeding out the grocery store parking lot like they stealing or something because I'm like, now at this point, even if you wasn't stealing, you making me think you was, but now i think i'm about to just head to the store to pick up the small little thingies that i needed um i'm gonna just get my nails done last only because i feel like once i'm done doing that i'm probably gonna want to go home instead of still having to like do a whole bunch of running around so right now they're doing too much construction y'all i had a hard time finding the small little things that i was looking for in target because they're redoing like the target that i live by so like they're literally completely redoing it and it just seems like every week they like changing the aisles and like where everything is located girl i couldn't even find a dang toothpaste today couldn't even find a dang toothpaste but anyways so i'm headed to the beauty supply store because i saw the last time i went there that they had i believe they had like a flower girl basket that's bigger than the one i have and they also had um a little pillow for the ring bearer because i know i did get a basket but i personally feel like the basket is too little um and i know for sure i did not get a little pillow for the ring bearer but i didn't i didn't get the pillow because i saw that they had one so that's why i did not get that um and it's literally like literally as i'm doing this i'm sitting here thinking uh some stuff i had to get from hobby lobby but to be frank with y'all i do not feel like going to hobby lobby right now so one thing at a time one thing at a time but oh my gosh i also put some of my like dresses so target has like some really really cute dresses and depending on when you go it can really be like hit or miss and so i had at least like four dresses in my cart but i ended up putting two of them back because i'm like first of all girl you're not gonna wear all these you may wear these two so get these two and if you don't like them we gonna return them and then on top of that i was like dang i forgot i had to look at my nails done and oh too bad it's so sad y'all but this nail salon i be going to it's like i don't like them 
I don't like them, but they do good work. Hopefully y'all get what I'm saying. Like, I don't like them because I feel like they be upcharging literally every single thing I get. Like, you can go in there for a $12, like, basic manicure and you gonna come out and your charge gonna be up to like 20 something and it's like but wait this isn't what i ordered and they just be up charging everything oh my gosh so i don't like them i don't but they do really good work and at this point i just need my nails done before saturday so i'm gonna go in there let them do my nails and i kind of already know what i want this is a little funny but what I want, and hopefully it looks better in person, because a lot of times, like, glitter nails are just not cute. But I think I want to do, like, a rose gold glitter French tip. That's what I want to do. So, but I'm going to do that on a Gel X set. So, girl, hopefully they don't charge me a grip. But knowing them, they probably will. So, that's why I was like, okay, let me not go ham pam at Target right now because I do actually need some money to pay for my nails. So, with that being said, let me go pick up these small little thingy things from the beauty supply store, and let's go get these nails done. Hey, I don't cop things for resale, don't do iCloud, don't do email. Feds wanna top up man and wild, man like Chubbs in detail. Back when Ricky- Okay y'all, so back in the car, and so, I got what I need to get from the beauty supply store. So basically just a pillow and then the basket. Now my niece is the flower girl. I already had a basket for her at the house, but I kind of feel like the basket was a little too small. So we'll see. But anyway, so also got me some two new like nose thingies. Cause since the colors are gonna be like gold-ish, I wanted to make sure I had another gold one. Oh, I got the wrong uh, one. So I guess we're just gonna have to go with the gold heart because I think that's cute anyway. So let's see how it's looking. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. I mean, let's see. Let's see what the cross is looking like. Only thing with the cross is she gave me the wrong one. I asked for the gold one, but she gave me the silver one, so I may have to go back in and get the gold one. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah, can't even see for real, but yeah. I think the cross one looks cuter. So, oh, I'm tired. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. These days, I don't even know why I bring my purse with me because, like, I don't even go on my purse for a wallet. I literally just tap. I just tap. Okay, let me run back in here. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Right. Girl, that's how you know I'm ready to go. I didn't almost got out of the car without the keys. Everything, huh? Slow down, Frank. Keep sweat so Nike, keep sweat so PG. It might get beaky. Ring, ring, call up GG. Do my melee. Just look up to a man from certain. I would say it's kind of sickening already the amount of money that has been spent today. And I just got out of bed like two hours ago. And just to top it off, we finna go to Chick-fil-A so I can eat before I get my nails done. I'm probably just gonna eat my food in the parking lot real quick and then head straight to the nail salon and see if they can do what I need them to do. Okay? Okay. Okay, I think I wanna do the go wrap with a large fry. Got it. And a strawberry milkshake mm -hmm. and a lemonade. Mm. I just felt the shame leave my lips when I said a large fry, but I'm finna tear it up. I'm about to tear it up. That's what I say every time, y'all, and then don't even finish my food. That's literally like, it's sad, but I'm finna tear it up. I'm about to tear it up. I'm finna, I'm finna eat it down. I'm about, what that be saying? I'm about to eat it down. Okay. It's 2023. And if you are not dipping your fries into your milkshake in 2023, you're missing out. I ain't even playing. Thought he was a bad boy then till man got pinched and man went PC Man went PC just like Dell and Windows Some man been those Before I was ever around Kendall's I was in hands though dreaming of Enzo's The woman I do end up with has to be a bad girl just like Munchie Can't have no pretentious thing when I know this road gets bumpy Word to the broski J, he got different names in different countries Three whaps and a whip and we beat that case where man like way too comfy I don't do well with people making disses and making threats 
boy, yo, your man got flown like private jets for way, way less. I know you try to get one down on us ever since then, it's been stress. Cause you know the reps, them owe you one, and we always pay them debts. Wassa, wassa, just like the Crody press, I don't do no pasta. Make with Skull and Cousin Jamie and y'all. Okay, y'all, we are back with an update. My camera died a little bit earlier when I was, at, when I was leaving the nail salon. And the crazy thing is, y'all, I literally didn't even realize that the whole time I was at the nail salon, I was recording my whole service. Okay, Jalen, hot. Hopefully, y'all can't hear the AC too much. But yeah, I didn't even realize I was really in there recording our whole service. So he finished up with my nails. I looked down at my camera. I didn't record it 20 minutes of getting my nails done. But I guess y'all saw the whole thing. But y'all, I love the nails. I think they look really cute. Um, so once I did that, I just got home and kind of let my charger, I let my camera sit on the charger for a little bit. Then from there, what else did I do? Me and Jalen had our last premarital counseling session, obviously before the wedding, which is this weekend. We'll have some more afterwards as well. Um, if you're in the Atlanta area on Thursday night, comment on this video and we'll send you the link. We'll send you the address in Airbnb. Go up. Jalen talking crazy. Anyways, but yeah, we do have plans. I may, I might. Should I vlog? Should I vlog the parties or should it just be like a if you nah, know you know? No, nah, nah. if you know you know, bro. Okay, Jalen said it's gonna be if you know you know. I may vlog like some small parts, but I'm not gonna like, yeah, if you know you know. <laughs> you gotta be there. Um but anyway, so yeah, so we got plans obviously for the rest of the week. But right now I was sitting at the house. And I was actually sitting there contemplating because y'all know like I like I have a whole makeup artist that's going to be doing my makeup for the wedding. And she has like strip lashes and stuff that she's going to give me like for my makeup. And those were cute too. But for some reason, I'm just feeling like I want um, lash extensions. And I know I don't, but like I just feel like I wanted them. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I wanted them. I don't know. But I'm kind of, the reason why I'm feeling like that too is for our trip too so that way when we go on our trip you know i can have my lashes be looking cute or whatever and not really trip about mascara getting into my eyes or my lashes falling off so i'm really sitting here still contemplating getting the lash extensions and especially for the wedding day like i really don't think i would cry because like i don't really like crying in a, in, in front of a whole bunch of people like that i'm not like super close with or whatever but just in case i do if i cry my lashes are going to come off and so I just feel like I might as well get some lash extensions. So I'm kind of still contemplating. We'll see. Because at this point, I'm like, who can do my lash extensions in like two days? Dot, dot, dot. So, yeah. But anyways, right now we are headed down the street. I wanted to go to Fleet Feet. And I also wanted to go to um, Ulta as well to get a couple of things from Ulta. Because y'all know I just love Ulta. Like, Ulta is like my favorite store. Um... And honestly, Ulta is one of those stores where, like, if you want to give me a gift card, give me an Ulta. Give me an Ulta gift card, okay? If you want to give me a gift, like, truly, if you want to play it safe giving me a gift, these are the three things. Cash, Ulta gift card, or Amazon gift card. And I would say, like, with anybody, you can give anybody, like, an Amazon gift card, but, yeah, that that's just that on that. Like, usually, I'm a bit iffy when it comes to gift cards, because, like, if you don't know where somebody shops... Don't just give them, like, a gift card to, like, Burlington. Like, if they don't shop at Burlington, like, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so we're headed to Fleet Feet. If you've never heard of Fleet Feet, that's actually, like, a shoe store, but it's different from regular shoe stores where you just go in, try on a shoe, and, like, leave. This store, they actually have, like, a, I guess, like, 3D machine situation that scans and analyzes, like, your feet, the shape of your feet. And from there, it kind of comes up with shoe choices that will work best for you like that will work best for you with the shape of your foot what you're trying to do walk run and whatnot so i went there probably like last week i went there because i also stopped at sephora too i didn't buy anything at sephora surprisingly but i stopped there because i just needed like a day off like you know to decompress and i just had a great time you know it was amazing i didn't buy anything i was so proud of myself but i stopped there and their machine was actually down so the guy he looked at my feet, gave me, you know, a couple of shoes to try out, and that was cool. But I was like, you know what? I'm actually just going to wait till the machine comes back because he was saying, like, the machine is more accurate. And I was like, low-key, because I know how I was when I was working, like, in the service industry. Like, he really could have just been BSing, like, mm, yeah, I see your arch is a little high. 
yeah go ahead and put these shoes on because i know i know what i would have did personally but i mean maybe he actually really experienced in the foot game or whatever but yeah so we're gonna go there first because they're gonna close first and i'm gonna try to get me a nice decent pair of like running shoes or whatever because not only after um the wedding after the honeymoon i'm going to get back into hot yoga because that was really a good way of me to like burn some calories and i enjoy I, like i enjoyed it like i really was having a good time i'm bright but yeah i was really having a good time but i also want to kind of start getting into like running and stuff like i'm really not a runner i really don't enjoy it but i feel like you can kind of learn to enjoy lots of things yeah so as you all may or may not know me and janaya are about to get married on saturday july 1st at around five o'clock p.m <laughs> Oh and so uh, this week I have to work until Wednesday. Well, I need to get my schedule cleared, but pretty much I'm about to leave work on Thursday. And Thursday we're having some, gonna have a joint party and whatnot. Friday is kind of some individual stuff, rehearsal or whatnot. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for everything. Uh, I think this is gonna be the most fun I've ever had in my life. So really, you think so? Do you really? Okay, are you talking about most fun in your life uh, Thursday or like at the wedding? Um, I think, I just think the whole Thursday, Friday, Saturday is going to be like probably the best, just the best time I've ever had because <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm not really around people that I don't really like, so I'm with people that I'm going to have fun with and I'm able to be myself without really feeling, being like, uh, kind of reserved because I don't want to feel judged or whatnot. Like just people I can kind of let loose with, and I know will let loose with me too. So it'll be kind of um, no reservations, um, hopefully on any part. So that's always good. Not to say that I'm going to just do some absolutely crazy or anything, but you never want to be around people and feel like they're going to judge you for having fun or whatnot. So um, that's our hotel right here. Yeah, I know. But yeah, so I think I'm going to have. I'm pretty excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really just looking forward to getting all this, um, getting all this planning and stuff done so we don't have to keep doing Oh, my bad. I'm looking forward to getting all this planning and stuff done so we don't have to keep doing it. But, uh, yeah. So, out of, out of us. Is there stuff on my face? I can't really tell. Anyways, um, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say I'm about like a 9. Uh, right now, I would probably say like, Eight. But as as the day gets closer, I think I'm gonna be like twelve, like fifteen. How about you? Me? I personally feel like right now I'm very excited. I feel like as the day gets closer, not that I won't be excited, but I think I'm gonna kind of be a little nervous, only because you know I've been doing most of the planning, like from the floor layout to everything. And so I think when I get up in there, I'm just gonna be so nervous to see how everything is like executed, how it looks, do it look too cluttered, do everybody at a chair, like, I don't even know. I feel like that's kind of what's on my mind, mainly like how stuff is, you know, how it's finna go down. I feel like I know I can have a good time. I don't care, I was gonna have a good time if it was just like four walls and three chairs, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous, but I think I'll have more fun at like the parties like you know obviously the bachelor bachelorette parties um then i will initially at the wedding because all that's kind of hectic like oh my gosh then i still gotta get my hair done and stuff and i'm already kind of nervous about that because when it comes to big events like this bro you know sometimes it was like oh sometimes you can't trust everybody now i be like bro why you ain't texting back fast enough bro why you ain't texting back you gonna be here you gonna be here so it just be i don't even know champ i don't even know so yeah, yeah. that's me Outside of making pretty drastic changes, <clears throat> there's not much that anybody can do at this point. So we're really just going to have to roll with whatever's in place. And we'll just see how your plan works out. And I think it's going to work out fine. I think everybody's going to have a great time. And, um, and yeah. So that's it for my talking piece. I don't know if Janai has anything else to say, but I don't know. No, we'll see y'all at Fleet Feet. All right, see y'all at Fleet Feet. Well, yeah, see you. I don't do well with people making misses and making threats. Try to get one down on us ever since then it's been stress Cause you know the reps them owe you one and we always pay them debts Boss on boss on just like the Crody Press on Mulo Bossa Play with Skull and Cousin Jamie and Yana from Gaza Watch on Sasha pissed I was way too young in the time for slashes You niggas spend too much time on captions not enough time on actions Pissed off cause I don't know what to do Pissed off cause I don't know what to do Pissed off cause I don't know what to do Pissed off cause I don't know what to do Pissed off cause I don't know what to do Pissed off cause I don't know what to do Pissed off cause I don't know what to do
slaps, that's rap rap. She don't want no clashes. The LB pouch on chest is just for fashion. It's just acting. Are you dumb and stupid? The wheels on the rolls is comas. Headshot don't must. Just checked in at a hotel floor that we all got broken the rolls. OVO XO link up, man. Them drink up, me and the drillers. Hawking sticks and cash and vodka. Gucci, P and Gilla. And the boy that sound like he sang on Thriller. You know that's been my nigga. Yeah, we just had to fix things, family, six things, we can't split up. As for the rest of the game, I'll do man dirty, man, I get two time. To me, that's just our side, I don't really care who rides on whose side. Bring ten shots to the poolside, never seen none of these grown men outside. 4301 won't spare no one, niggas got to know about Southside. Stepping out of line, get outlined, and you know I'm tied up stateside. Get my down when it takes sides, trying to get saved by the bell like they sign. Bitch, I care that last name, that shit stays on me like brand names. Jazz just lined up brand new hat things and nice guy on a mat team. Everyone I know has code names. Anyone I'm keeping with is a no name. Niggas can't even win home games. They just gotta fall in line like Soul Train. Talk of your may help you. Hi, I'm calling to place an order. You want two ginger as well? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh, bye, bye bye. Oh my gosh. So y'all, what is today? Today is mm, 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 Tuesday. Now I still have not shown y'all all like the wedding products and stuff that have come in as promised, but I promise I'm gonna show them to y'all before I go drop them off because I have to drop them off to the decorator um between like today and obviously before Friday. But anyways, today's Tuesday. So let me tell y'all what has changed so far. So as y'all can see, I'm wearing a scarf, which I can't wait to take this off because I feel like my outfit under it is like so cute, y'all. I got the whole green situation coming on. But then over here in the chair, I have my outfit that I'm, let me, let me drive while I talk. I have my outfit that I'm going to be wearing to um, the bridal shower because my bridal shower is today. So this is what had happened, y'all. So, like... I just decided or well, I was just thinking over the past couple days and I was like oh my gosh like you know I'm about to get my makeup done and I'm very confident at this point that my makeup like will come out good but my main thing was just like the lashes like I was just like oh I don't know like and then I was also thinking I was like well one because I just kind of prefer the look of like individuals over strips anyway I just usually don't get individuals because of me i'm the problem um but yeah so i usually prefer the look then on top of that i was thinking and i'm like yeah i feel like it would make sense because i'm about to you know wear individuals like at the wedding under my makeup get my makeup done then on top of that i'm gonna um once we go to the honeymoon the honeymoon is literally going to be like the following like saturday so not the same week and I'm going to try to vlog that as well. I think that's going to be pretty fun. But I'm like, okay, then we're going to go on a honeymoon. We're going to be, you know, in the water, swimming, doing all that stuff. Hold on. I think this is my package. Okay, y'all. I'm back. That was that was the bank, child. The bank was calling me because, long story short, I have I have a bank account that I use, like, personally. And then Jalen and I, we both have joint, like, a joint account that bills come out of and stuff. And we usually don't even keep any money in there other than, you know, what's needed for rent and, like, bills. But they texted me this morning basically saying it was, like, some, like, basically fraudulent charge on there. And I already knew, like, yeah, something, something's up because we literally don't use that card, that account, for anything else. And so, basically, they just gave me a call and they're going to send me, like, another card or whatever. But anyways, y'all, like I was saying... So, yes, I was kind of, you know, iffy about the strips because I'm like, okay, well, you know, if I'm going to be at the wedding, then it's also going to be hot. Then what if I start crying or something, which I don't think I'll cry, but, you know, just what if? Because if I do, my lash is going to come off. And then I was like, okay, but then after the wedding, like, you know, stuff made, like, that week is going to go by fast. And the next thing you know, we're going to be on a cruise. And I don't want to have to be worried about my lashes on a cruise. And I also wanna don't want to have to worry about mascara because I have been wearing mascara lately. Like, I actually did take a break from even the lashes that I usually wore and would just wear mascara. Because you know how sometimes, like, oh, my goodness, when you wear lashes, and I know you know if you wear lashes like when you wear them for a certain amount of time and then when you take them off 
you feel like you don't even recognize yourself like it's like oh my gosh i look sick or i look tired so that's how i was feeling for a minute when i just kept uh doing like sets after sets and i took a break and i just started wearing you know my mascara so that way i could actually you know like just appreciate my natural lashes once again which i still do but i was like you know what no because i don't want to have to worry about you know wearing mascara or anything um while i'm on a trip because one thing about it two things for sure that mascara will burn your eyes girl like and that never made sense to me how like products that are made to go in your eyes like why the heck don't somebody just make the product to wear if it's going close to your eyes aka your eyelashes it should not burn your eyes it just shouldn't but they do so i was like yeah so now girl thank god for friends you know, since I'm in cosmetology school, I do have a lot of classmates who do lashes. And then I also have a friend, a close friend, who does lashes as well. And so I was literally hitting up everybody I could because I was like, well, dang, let me see who can do my lashes tomorrow. And so I hit up one of my classmates, and she wasn't going to be free until, like, Thursday. And then one of my other friends was like, yeah, you know, I can do you, like, Wednesday morning. And Wednesday morning was fine to me. I was like, yeah, you know, I can do I can do um Wednesday morning. I was low-key, like, hoping for something tomorrow. Because, you know, I low-key wanted, you know, my lashes done for, like, the bridal shower or whatever. So, I was like, yeah, you know, I was low-key hoping for something, like, ASAP tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then that's when she was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, I can I can get you in tomorrow. And so, you already know me. I'm like, all right, bet. So, my appointment is at 2. It's currently, like, going on 1 o'clock. It's not quite 1 o'clock yet. So, right now, I'm just headed to give me a little, some little hibachi I'm going to eat my little hibachi in the car or whatever. And then literally when I'm done eating, I'm just going to head to my lash appointment. And y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. But from my lash appointment, um, depending on how long or short she takes, I just put my clothes for the bridal shower, which is at 7, in my car. Because not that I think she's going to take five hours, but at the same time, you know, better be safe than sorry. I didn't have to run to the car and all this other stuff. So I just put my stuff in the car. So that way, whenever she finishes, because she does lashes near where my dad lives, so I would just just go basically go over there, change my clothes, all that good stuff, and then head right back out and head to the place. So that is the plan. Finna get my food, and I'll be right back. Japanese man. It's a different story, but I can appreciate that they're like, no, this is our thing. Okay, y'all. I. I'm living for this green moment right now all I needed was a green um a green scarf that's about it but anyways oh yeah I don't, even, I don't even think I told y'all why I put the scarf on yeah so I'm going to get my lashes done but I put the scarf on because I actually put on my u-part wig did some curls and I just put on some flexi rods so that way when I go get my lashes done and I lay on the bed I don't mess my hair up hopefully that does what I need it to do but anyways okay just finished eating my food now we about to head to get these lashes i'm so happy i'm so excited and i literally have been watching kelly stamps like all day because i love kelly stamps kelly stamps babe kelly stamps is my girl i love kelly stamps but so i'm watching a little kelly stamps video and i this video i'm watching is her taking her little road trip moving to georgia and i was like kelly stamps in georgia what it just feels a little too close to home a little too close to home but anyways time to go okay y'all i'm just now pulling up to my last appointment i'm on time but it just took me i've been here for like 10 15 minutes but it just took me a minute to actually find like her suite but i didn't found it now i think is that it right there okay hopefully i don't pass it thank you i'm gonna just park right here I, i'm gonna get right here but yeah so i think i found her suite now it took me a minute but time to get my lashes done okay y'all your girl is back and the lashes are done Ooh, i feel like a brand new woman mm, got my lashes are done. i can't believe this i can't believe it so now it's only 5 25 so we actually finished like with good time because i have time to basically just go home and like get ready at home instead of like having to make extra stops so you already know that's exactly what i'm gonna do so i will see y'all when i get to the house especially when i figure out how to get out of here okay hey what's up y'all so y'all i actually really love my lashes like that's 
really crazy. Anyways, I'm back at the house. I do have a secret. Ooh, I do have a couple minutes until my bridal shower starts. It's six oh six. Bridal shower starts at seven o'clock, and I plan on being there right like around that time. So I'm just doing a little quick makeup look, getting ready. And y'all, honestly, I'm the type of person where I usually don't like um parties, like even birthday parties. I will always feel so awkward or whatever. But I low key look forward to this bridal shower. I really don't know what to expect because I've never been a bride before. But I look forward to it. I'm excited. Let me tell y'all what I think is going to be. I think this bridal shower is just about to be a party where everyone brings you underwear as a gift. <laughs> and I say that because I had a mini um, bridal shower at school. And, um, and you know, my classmates up until the bridal shower have asked me like, yeah, you know, like, what should we bring you? And, you know, like, what kind of gifts do you want? And I'm like, listen, I like money. Like I told y'all earlier, if all fails, Amazon, Ulta, like, you get the point. But, yeah, they have been asking me, like, yeah, you know, like, what would you like or whatever? And, then, you know, I'm just like, I mean, I don't know. My classmate, she got me, like, a dinner set and whatnot. Because I'm like, listen, if you're in doubt, just burn a gift card. And I actually really like that dinner set. I look forward to um using it. I'm probably not going to actually unbox it until we move. Because I'm kind of not trying to make too much of like a mess or whatever. But yes, one of my classmates got me a cute little dinner set. But more of the story is, that's what I feel like, you know, this party's going to be. Not that I'm going to get, you know, towards anything. But I just feel like, you know, at this point, because my grandma, this is what I'm saying. is My grandma literally called me earlier and was like, um, JJ, what size are you? And I was like, um, what do you mean, like underwear? And I automatically knew she was talking about underwear. She was like, what size are you, small? And I was like, yeah, I wear a small or whatever. So, yeah. But anyways, y'all, I have been watching, um, Kelly Stamps's, like I told y'all, I was, I've been watching Kelly Stamps basically all day, y'all. Aside from when I was getting my lashes done or whatever. But I was watching her videos and she started a new channel. Ooh. Her new channel is called, her channel name is Whataburger Queen. Kelly is literally so silly. But y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm so proud of Kelly. Like, I am inspired by Kelly. Like, Kelly, like, girl. Kelly, Miss Girl. I'm, I'm just so proud of her. And she was just saying, you know, she has some really good videos on her channel, first of all. Like, I can't even begin to really break down everything she was saying. But obviously, it's just Christ Center, which is what I love. And especially to see, because she's such, like, a huge creator, even on her small channel. Like, a lot of people know the name Kelly Stamp. So, you know, girl, even on the small channel, she still has, like, a really huge impact. Oh, where's, let me go get my other bag that I got from Sephora. Her videos literally all day, and they have just been, like, so edifying and just amazing. So... Y'all go follow her new channel, okay? Go follow Miss Kelly Stamps' new channel. But anyways, like I was saying, back to this bridal shower. As is excited. Maybe if I get a lot of gifts, because I really don't know. Because people haven't asked me what I want. And I'm a simple gal. <clears throat> I just, like, give me some money, okay? Simple gal. But um, if I do end up getting a lot of gifts, I'll do a haul when I get back. And y'all, the bob was Bobby Yana in, and it was so cute. But I'm a sucker for a V part wig with a little, with some layers, okay? Little face framing V part wig. But, anyways, yesterday when I went to, was that yesterday when I went to Sephora? Yes, ma'am, because Jalen sponsored a trip, Buki. Yesterday when I went to Sephora, I actually, I just went in there because I wanted to try out the first aid beauty um body eraser and i got that but then i also ended up seeing that milk makeup has a a matte setting spray which i did not know so you already know <clears throat> when i saw it i had to grab it and so that's what i'm going to use to set my makeup today i'm just about to do like a tiny baby contour Okay. Oh, the makeup is giving. Oh, girl, you're cute. You're cute. You look amazing. 
But anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, okay, y'all. So I am officially headed to the bridal shower. I'm like trying to charge my camera and film at the same time. I killed a little bit of time, a little bit of time in the car because the place is only about 10, you know, 15 minutes away. Um, and low key, you know, I didn't want to be there too, too early, child, but we on the way because I do want to be on time just in case everyone has to be there, like to be seated and whatnot. And y'all, like when I tell y'all, oh, dang, I need some gas. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We going to ride this tank out. But anyways, when I tell y'all, I like am so happy with my lashes. Like she really ate that up and I do not regret the decision. Like sometimes not all impulsive decisions are bad, y'all. Not all of them are bad. This one was a good one and she ate these lashes up, which is really like upsetting me, my homegirls, because she's really she's actually getting ready to move to houston or just move soon and i'm gonna be so sad because like y'all know i don't get individuals done a lot but like i told her literally the last time i got individuals done which was probably over a year or probably like a year ago now she did them and i loved them that time but like i said it was me i was the problem like i was literally oh crap child i hate driving a stick shift sometimes but yes, I was the problem. It was me. And now I'm kind of sad because she really ate these all the way up. Oh my. Okay, let me drive. Let me let me be safe. I'll see y'all when I get there. Okay, y'all. So I'm here. I don't know if anybody else is here yet, but right now I'm just in the car. It's currently 6.58. So I guess I'm going to just wait into the car. Like, wait in the car. Because I'm just like... I just personally feel like, oh my gosh, it just feels so awkward like being the not even i mean i guess i'm the main character but basically just like oh my gosh nobody feels okay calm down sorry sorry does nobody feel awkward like you know when is your birthday and then it's your, your birthday party on your birthday and everybody's singing happy birthday and you just sit there like uh. you know what i started doing i started singing along so i was like hey birthday to me and, but it just feels weird i'm sorry i just after how, how old am i after 21 years of happy birthday i have never gotten used to that experience it's just odd but anyways yeah so i'm gonna just chill out in the car until like my i guess my mom or somebody calls me like if they're here i think i pretty much probably beat everybody here because it's just like i love being over here i come up girl i can i could have got here with my eyes closed but anyways talk to you later the bridal shower has commenced or ended yeah i drove myself okay what's up y'all so as you can see right now i am outside Jalen got me up here at this track with him and his cousin while they're training and i thought i was gonna run but i'm just not ready to start running today yeah i'm just not ready to start running today but you're not gonna little vest on got all my new shoes and I feel like I'm ready to run but I'm just not ready to run so okay y'all headed back home and I'm tired I did run a little bit though I did like a 50 meter sprint never again and I hope my hair didn't frizz up because I don't have time for that Okay, y'all, so we are back at the house, and hopefully y'all can see me. One thing I have realized about this camera is that it's really not that good in low lighting, but other than that, like, when I'm on the go, it's, like, perfect. But anyways, back at the house, and right now, I am getting ready to color Jalen's sister's hair. Not her actual hair on her head, but just the bundle that she's gonna be wearing for her ponytail because I think I told you all this before, but her hair is like reddish. And so we needed to kind of get the bundles to match the ponytail. And honestly, I'm actually kind of excited to do this. One, because I kind of get to practice my coloring skills and hopefully it comes out good. I went, well I told her when she went to her stylist to get her hair colored like the most recent time to basically ask the stylist you know the exact color that she uses 
for her hair so that way I can kind of at least know what color to go get when I go buy or when I go buy the dye to match it and so they send me over the exact colors um I guess like by name now y'all know if you have ever shopped for any type of like professional hair color then you know it's not really how like the semi colors are where it's like oh yeah you know this color is you know fuchsia pink or ugh, or whatever like professional hair colors really go by like numbers and letters so it's like six in you know five whatever whatever so with that being said i kind of ended up just getting what i thought was like the closest to her hair and what she used so we about to find out today i ended up getting a six in and a six rc so where it gets complicated is i don't know the exact mixture because it is two colors so we're really just gonna have to eyeball it and kind of see where we go from there right now i'm just kind of unraveling the bundle so that way i can like just split it in half and kind of paint it on there um pretty evenly now i am a little like i'm not necessarily nervous but i'm just kind of like a little concerned because i know for the ponytails the girl said like we all only need one bundle of hair but in my mind i'm just like dang like that's it like one bundle like, i just felt like it's it wasn't enough hair but we'll see how it goes i'm sure if it's not enough then she's just gonna make it enough so and y'all i'm literally sitting here coloring hair on my whole kitchen table right now like I just find that so crazy. But y'all want to know what else I was thinking? So we went today and Jalen was just working out. I did a little walking and I did a couple of sprints. Um, but what was I thinking? I forgot. I, oh, yes. I remember now. So y'all, was yesterday I was watching Kelly Stamps videos. And I don't know. It's just something about somebody wearing a mic that's just like so cool to me. And I actually do have like a little microphone or whatever and so i was just thinking like hmm, i wonder if i should you know start wearing the mic so here's where i get kind of confused so i know i'm going to put the bleach in here and lighten this bad boy up but then i kind of wonder like is there a way for me to bleach and color this at the same time or does this kind of have to be a two-step process i know it's not going to take long because i'm only using 30 um 30 volume developer which means it'll probably take like 30 minute, 30 minutes max to lift to the color, uh, yeah, to lift the amount of levels that I need it to lift. So I guess we're just gonna put that on and just go from there. And me, like when I buy like hair stuff, I don't really trip about, about buying too much because I always feel like I'm gonna find some type of use for it, like regardless. So even though I just bought a whole container of like bleach and I'm sure I already had one up in there. I think this is too much. Hold on. Yeah, I bought a whole container of bleach and I'm sure I still had a container in there. I was like, you know what? Can you ever really have enough bleach? But okay, I'm about to apply this stuff and we're going to get into it. And y'all, I literally, I couldn't find my, um, I couldn't find my applicator brush. So now... I don't really know what I'm going to do. I feel like I'm just going to slap that thing on there and just, you know, mix it or just spread it or comb it through the best I can. But I literally could not find my applicator brush. It's either somewhere around here or I may have left it at school somewhere. I feel like I should go look for it. Let me mix this and then I'm going to go look for my brush because I personally feel like that's the way we're going to get the best results out of this. All right, so we got it mixed. It's a little creamy consistency, so I'll be right back. Uh, just a small hash brown. Day and we are in car at Chick-fil-A as y'all can see. So the plan for today is number one to have the party of the year says Jalen. Facts. But it's gonna be bro, I don't know why you I don't know why you acting drunk. Because I'm not a party girl. 
I'm not, well, you will be. I'm not about to go. We're gonna start throwing parties when we get out of our apartment. Not like party party, but like. But yeah, just come have like a kickback, not a party kickback. Ouch. Anyways, yeah. So we're doing our joint bachelor bachelorette today. Um, what else are we doing today? Well, right now we're at Chief Lane. We're also getting ready to go. Can you run the window up? We're also getting ready to go tour an apartment. Now, I've seen the apartment already, and y'all have technically seen the apartment already as well. If you're, yeah, if you like toes intolerant, or you be like, if your car stank or something, get that Ozium, because Ozium, like, really gets that smell out of there. Anyways, but yeah, um, everything's coming together. I do have, like, a small list of things that I need to pick up today. Um, I really, really, really have to finish the like signs that i need to make before we leave out for this party so i actually have like some work to do um then also y'all like low-key i'm not annoyed but i'm kind of annoyed like i see why when people have events like this like weddings and whatnot why they be joking around like listen i'm gonna need my makeup artist and hairstylist to sleep in the bed with me the day before the wedding to make sure like y'all good because well first of all the hairstylist, everything has somewhat been okay from that. It just kind of like took me a while to um hear from her at some point. And then when I did hear from her, she actually ended up changing suites. And the suite she changed to is actually like an hour away from where we're going to be. And even though I'm not getting my hair done the day before, that was still kind of like, uh, well, I wish I would have known that before because we could have kind of planned around that. But... When you get your hair done. I'm getting my hair done on Saturday at the hotel. Oh. But like the bridesmaids are getting their hair done the day before, but then have to be back at a certain time in our area for like the wedding rehearsal, but they're getting their hair done like over an hour away. So yeah, that was just kind of like a shocker. Um, But you know, it was what it was. We kind of worked it out. I basically just ended up telling them because she asked that they come wash and blow dry. But I just basically ended up telling them like at this point, like just straighten your hair now so that she does not have to take forever on your hair like it's already straight all she had to do was sleek it in the ponytail so yeah um but then literally this morning one of the makeup artists texted me basically was talking about um basically just sent like a good morning message and then was just saying that um she would be charging like a 40 dollar travel fee or whatever which i'm like okay but my thing also was like why are you telling me that you're charging a $40 fee the day before? Because at that point, what am I going to say? Oh, no, we don't want you anymore because you're charging a $40 fee. But it's just like, why? Like, come on now. I could have included this in the cost, like, when I told them cost and whatnot. And basically, I just ended up telling her, like, okay, you know, just add, like, $40. I mean, just add $10 onto. I'm going to start at 5 p.m., right? Yes. Just add $10 onto, you know, whoever's makeup you're doing. But I don't know. That just kind of threw me off because I was just like. You should have told me this ahead of time so I can plan accordingly. Characters. But yeah, child. Like, at this point, I'm the type where I'm just like, you know what? And do what you want to do, what y'all want to do. So I have had a lot of bridesmaids who opted to do their own hair or do their own makeup or both. And I'm like, listen, do you, boo? Do you? So yeah, that is where we're at right now. And yeah. All right, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Uh, we just had the we at uh, Dollar Tree right now I think, and uh, we're just picking some stuff up. Not really sure for what right now. Um, hopefully I don't look too busted right here on this camera. I gotta get a haircut. Um, but yeah, hope everybody's day is going well. Um, you know. Nah, one thing I did, I just reminded me of when we walked past the, when we pop, walked past the arts, the like pens and stuff. Bro, I don't know about anybody else, but I love pens, bro. I just love buying pens. Even if I got a whole bunch of them, I just, I just like buying pens. That's all I want to say. Okay, y'all. At Party City, found the garter. Also got some cute little floral petals. And right now they have a lot of, um, like bridesmaids and grooms things. And so I'm contemplating getting everybody something, but... I don't really see anything I'm like super attached to, so I think we're gonna keep it moving. 
Okay, y'all. So, me and Jalen. Because I didn't feel like doing all that. Me and Jalen just got to the house. And now we're about to just spray paint these frames that we need to do. We just took them off. And this is kind of like the last big thing that we need to do before, like, we're somewhat done. So, yeah. About to start spray painting. So, what we can do is because there's already paint on the ground, we're just going to lay in here. The purple rocks are the paint? Yes. But I didn't do that. That was here when we moved here. No, I think that's about it. So let me show y'all kind of how it's looking right now. Here they are. And at this point, y'all, just talked to the new apartment kind of up uh went ahead and applied and so now we're just waiting to hear back from them but y'all for the rest of the day it seems like we're going to be partying and Jalen said he wants to keep the party on a you know if you know you know basis so i'm probably not going to record much i probably will record a little bit of like the airbnb um stuff when we get there and maybe like when we're walking around but other than that that is all so i will see y'all in a little bit Okay, y'all, I'm over here, I'm in the car wash. And why, I literally just accidentally hit my brakes while I was in the car wash. Oh, you tripping. I know, I'm tripping, bro. I'm tripping. Oh, yes, they got good light up in the car wash, child. Oh, okay, but anyways, so hopefully y'all can hear me while we in here. But while we were at the house, I was able to go ahead and get the gifts package. Um, what else? We finished the little frames that we were doing, um, and now we're running our last, our last few errands at the car wash, and then we're going to Walmart before we go to the Airbnb. y'all i personally feel like all of the hard stuff that we would have had to do today is now over and i'm looking forward to like the um party part not gonna lie i did kind of have a mental breakdown a little bit um not even necessarily regarding the party but y'all do know i like hold on <laughs> y'all do know like parties are fun but like me on the regular I just like oh my gosh and then I just have no like urge to really party and it's like I do be wanting to have a good time but I like to go out and do stuff versus you know like be in and actually have like a party and I do think it's gonna be fun but I think the reason why I don't have a lot of parties is because I don't have a lot of friends and I don't want a lot of friends like I enjoy having like a pretty small circle having like a handful of friends and like letting that be that so i just like when it comes to having parties i don't i don't be nervous but at the same time i just be like uh like what are we supposed to do like i don't i don't even know but not only that i was kind of like in my head a little bit because you know my sister is not going to be at my bachelorette um and you know obviously it'll be like me my bridesmaids the groomsmen so you know some of Jalen's family and you know my family and a few of my friends but I was just like I am the type of person I much rather be around family I much rather be around like I feel my most comfortable when I'm around people who I've known for years like when I'm around like people who have known me dang near since birth like people who know every nickname I have ever been called in my life that's just that's just when I feel most comfortable so I think I was kind of having like a bit of a mental breakdown just about that part because it was just like oh my gosh like you ever just want to be with your people that's just kind of how I was feeling in the moment uh but I feel better now um and then especially it was kind of like a almost like a heat of the moment type thing too because i was sitting there making all these diy projects in a matter of like 30 minutes putting together gift bags and while we're here not to get off topic but while we're here i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what's in the gift bag because i don't know how much if at all i'm gonna be recording like once we actually get to the airbnb and like the day starts so let me show y'all everything that i put in their gift bag and i'm actually proud 
y'all do note this about me my love language is gifting and giving gifts so i enjoy receiving gifts and i enjoy giving them just as much as i enjoy receiving them. but anyways so i have a little bit of paper and so i'm just going to kind of show y'all like just one bag so first thing there's this sash and this sash is from shein and it just says team bride and it's like in a pinkish color so there's that and then i'm kind of most proud of these gifts I got everybody like custom tumblers. So this is one of them because I actually ordered like two different tumblers on accident. So I'm just doing this as like the first gift. But this is um one of the tumblers. So as y'all can see, tumblers and it's like black tumbler and it has rose gold and it has her name on it. So this is my friend Brittany's. This is hers. And then it also comes with a straw as well. And originally these were supposed to be a different color, but the seller ran out like last minute. So yeah. And then last but not least, I got them a set of pajamas. I don't really want to take the set of pajamas out of this little fold roll that I have it in. But yeah. And then other than that, I just got them a, a couple small things like a pen, some bliss sex, and that's literally about it. Because in reality, let me put this back on here. Ooh, okay. Because in reality, the water bottles was were the star of the show but when i thought about it i was like well i mean am i really going to just give them a bag with only water bottles in it no but anyways we about to head to walmart get these last couple things and i will talk to y'all when i talk to y'all yeah you can open it okay y'all just got to the airbnb let me do a small little airbnb tour because it is like it's cute okay Ooh. okay so you walk in and here is a bedroom and it's dark but it looks so cute so this is where jada's sleeping not the leave out Ooh. but yeah it's dark but cute then this is actually a pull out bed so then you come upstairs i don't know what these doors are but then you come upstairs Are we the first ones here? <laughs> so then, there's a pool table, another living room area. Honestly, oh my gosh, my hair hurts. I need to get some food. I'm hungry. Ooh, let me sit my purse down. So this was the third floor. Yeah. Third floor, and then go all the way to the left. Oh, I'm so tired. Can't keep walking up these stairs. So then, there's another bed here. Then another bedroom, and y'all get into this. This right here. This is actually beautiful. Like, the light bill in this place must be ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Look at this closet. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm out of breath. I just walked up the stairs. But this, oh my gosh. This is literally so cute. But this is my John's room. So then keep going keep going and bathroom here's another bathroom laundry room upstairs laundry room then this is another bedroom it has two beds in it another bedroom with another bed in it oh gosh no more stairs okay then whatever that room is i don't know okay more stairs, y'all. Yeah, more stairs. Hang on, lie. I'm not in the best shape for this, but we doing it. So, go here, and then I don't know what's over here, but let's just open the door. Okay, this is a closet. But there's an outdoor area, so you walk outside, and when you get outside, and just because y'all won't see this till after. We're by Atlantic Station, by the way. So if you know 
Atlanta, you know, Georgia. We near Atlantic Station. So, come outside. This is like the rooftop area. Just a little something, something. Got some couches out here. Then got a whole little thing, TV situation. And so, let's go back inside because I don't know exactly where Jalen and I's room was supposed to be. That's low key what I was looking for. But I was also just, you know, looking at all kinds of things. Oh my gosh. This is kind of scary. It's too big. Okay. So let's see. Now we're back on the third floor. Has four levels, by the way. And let's see what this door right here is. I don't know. So we're not going to go out that door. Yeah, I'm lost. Where are you trying to go? I don't know. You said. Did you go all the way up? Yes. You went outside? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It is just a bedroom. Oh, okay. I think I've seen everything for the most part. <laughs> oh my God. The food had been secured. And I'm so hungry. I literally ordered two bowls just for myself. This jerk pineapple one looks good, but it just has so many onions. My head is hurting. It's okay. In low lighting, it's not like. But then when you get here. Here, it actually looked better than I thought it would. But in low light, it doesn't do that. 10 15. I think we should book it. Because I'm going for Yeah, I feel like the escape room will be lit with everybody. I'm like, that's what I said. It's going to probably be more stressful than it is. I That's what makes it more fun. Jada, book it because I would like to go regardless. I'm gonna faint. If we go to an escape room at 10 15, do you and your boyfriend want to come? And you're 19 years old anyway. At 10 15, would you like, would you like, would y'all be going? Which one do you want to Oh, sorry. Uh, like 30 or whatever. Huh? Both of us. Let's go! Okay. What's that? Here's the vlog. Checking in for Cam. She gone right now. We better have, we have, we have some fun. So y'all just stay tuned. Y'all see what's going on. Shania, let's we'll talk for her YouTube channel. Oh, okay. for her YouTube channel? Yeah. I'm going to get in it when it's YouTube! I'm just playing. Hi! Are you going to talk? That's cute. I want to Let me show you put it on. Y'all. I just feel, I just don't even feel like myself right now. I'm, I'm protected for real, for real. Oh yeah! Oh gosh. Uh, eight and a half. Okay. I should just get. Do you have a nine? Oh my gosh, you're so bougie. Whoa, whoa, you're a little too big. You don't wear like slippers. Huh? 
gonna wear like slip or something. Do not try either one. Okay, I'll try those. Can I leave these here? No, you don't put them. I gotta say what's up. So, uh, you know, give me your first. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I ain't gonna lie. I'm the best driver. I got stuff on the motor. Jalen? Yeah. Jalen? Yeah. What's my name? Oh my gosh. Who just did that? Why? Oh my gosh. Christian. You should have known. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yes. So we out here at the battery, getting ready to go into the escape room. Everybody else literally went to get drinks while I was in the restroom. So I'm just out here waiting on them. And I'm also waiting on Maya because y'all know she is never on time. But I think we're doing the playground escape room if you're ever in Truist Park. Um, Atlanta at the battery. That's the one we're going to do because that's the one that could accommodate for a 12 people group, I guess. So it's going to be 12 of us up in there and hopefully we escape, child. Thank, Thank you. you. Any questions? No. no. Yeah, fantastic. Thank Thank you. Rob. Thank you. Best of luck. I appreciate it, Rob. MVP. What is Are you a daughter or something? Ain't nobody coming online. Uh, <laughs> like, you be quiet, son. Hey, here. Anytime. There's no limit and no Bro, stop touching stuff, bro. Can't take black people nowhere. Say cheese. Is that cool? Bro. Summer is here, but you're stuck in the classroom. Start, start by searching your classroom for clues and Okay, wait, 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 but listen. They're gonna say attendance and everyone has to sit in the desk that's in the order. Okay. Please say proceed for roll call. Am I Timmy? Sit down. Somebody sit down. Someone that might be Michael. Michael, are you here? Ashley. 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 Sit your behind down. Ashley. Timmy. 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 And then attendance should pop up. Oh. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh. Oh my God. Can we get up? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. okay.
to unlock the slide, y'all. Ladies first. What? Oh, okay. I'm about, to, I'm about to say one at a time. I'm scared. Oh, gosh. Okay, what is this? This is teamwork. Oh. I don't know how we made it out, but we did because I'm ready to go home. This is ghetto. Yes, let's get a picture here. So we are back at the house and I'm in my bathroom, y'all. We survived the night. And literally, um, I left the Airbnb. I woke up about 7 this morning, left the Airbnb around 9 and have literally been on go because the bridesmaids have been having to go get their hair done. Folks have been a little late. Late fees are popping up out of the woodworks. And so I'm like, y'all need to get your hair done. And so then my apartment was a mess. So I had to hurry up and clean and kind of speed clean here and box up all the decor and stuff. And now, oh my goodness, it's just getting like crazy. But anyways, I feel like now we're moving into the actual wedding part of the vlog because the wedding is tomorrow. But I'm going to do, since I've already been recording so much and I'm running out of space on this camera, I'm going to do a whole separate like day before and wedding day vlog. So with that being said, if you have made it this far, thank y'all so, so much for tuning in. You already know, click smash, smack the subscribe button down below and I will see y'all on my next video. Daddy drew you like that beautiful black child Come and shed your black cloud For your vibe and your smile I don't mind a little rain I'm your dog, ears perk up at the sign of your name